What's good everybody, it's April 4 Now that we updated our Porygon Z double deck, it's time to show some matches. Uh, I definitely feel it's much better than how it was before with the additional cards that we can utilize like Tornadus, like Level Ball. I didn't have those cards before in the deck. I mean, I still wish we had stuff like Cynthia from the previous rotation, but um, it definitely has some better cards than it did before. And I want to enjoy it a bit more because now with this rotation, it, it will be completely dead. After Porygon Z goes out, we won't be able to use it at all. So speaking of Tornadus, I'm going to open with this guy. And my opponent opened up with this Dragapult V. So Dragapult VMAX deck, maybe a pure Dragapult VMAX. Maybe it has Urshifu, Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX too. Those guys are seen together right now from what I've noticed. And I'm going to use the level ball, get the Porygon down, and draw energy. So, wow, we got the rare candy and the Porygon Z. So I'm not going to use a supporter, I'm going to keep my hand. And as luck would have it, my opponent attached one of those uh, horror energies on the dude. So I get to discard it, which is really sweet. One of the benefits of Tornado's early attack, you do 30 for 1, which is respectable. And you can auto discard a special energy too. So that's always a useful effect to have. Now, he also sort of removed my energy with that uh, Rapid Strike fan thing. But it's all good once we get Porygon Z out. Energy acceleration shouldn't be a problem. So now I'm going to use my Marnie now that we got the Porygon Z out. And now all, all I really want are basically my energies and additional attackers. So unfortunately, I can't really use the uh i was gonna say the Danny gx but it's priced anyway but we wouldn't be able to use it anyway since he played down that power plant so let's see i'm gonna attach the energy we drew a card draw energy so i got marnie at least but i've got magnolia too so unfortunately can't couldn't use a bigger attack didn't see any energies uh, but next turn, I should have an explosive turn since we can use Magnolia, draw seven cards, and then go from there. Now, he did evolve into the big guy, and he has two energies. He's definitely going to KO this Tornadus, but at least I did 60 damage on it. I guess that should be something to soften it up a little bit. Still not enough to get a KO uh, once double attacks with him only getting one prize. But I guess it's better than nothing. So Crushing Hammer, got the Tails. I mean, it didn't matter because this guy's dead anyway. And one thing that you do need to be a bit mindful in this deck, and I guess I didn't mention on the deck profile, is that we don't really, we can't really use any energy retrievals and stuff. So if you lose your energies, you lose for good. So you kind of have to be a bit careful, especially with the Magnolias and shit. You know, you don't want to, discard too many of your special energies. So we see exactly what we need here. Uh, let me put the capture energy first and we get an additional Pokemon. And you know what? I could have gotten the Porygon, but I'm actually going to go for another double V. Make sure we have that. And attach the draw energy, draw a card, and then do the powerful colorless energy. Actually, that was a mistake. I should have put the recycle to be honest because I mean we're not getting a KO even though this guy has a little bit of damage it's still a VMAX it still has too much HP so just doing 170 it's not good enough so I probably should have saved the colorless the powerful colorless on the other dude but anyway I guess we get the extra damage you never know what he's gonna do maybe he uses uh, Malin Lana and communication, he's gonna put a Pokemon back and get somebody else. I didn't see what he shuffled in, but I do see what he's grabbing here, and it's this Giratina. A bit annoying, discard my valuable special energies, god damn it. So he's giving me a little bit of what I gave him in the beginning. And Marnie, gonna reset my hand. It actually works out, because we didn't have much shit to work with. Uh, this was gonna be a pretty bad hand. If I didn't top deck anything. So he gave me the Erica, which is good. I'll be able to draw more cards. And we see an energy too, which is what I need. And I also see a counter stadium. 
chaotic swell. Going to get rid of that power plant finally. So he switched. Uh, got the search with uh, the... Uh, well, drew a card, I guess, with the Jirachi. And attack again. Okay. Let's get rid of the stadium. And let's go ahead and go... Go for Erica. See what's up. Wow, I didn't see any energies. So that was a, a bit close, like if I didn't have the other energy. Okay, now, uh, now I'm going to bench the other Porygon so that we don't draw these dudes. If we're going to be using Marnie or if he uses Marnie. And attach the third energy, Revenge Blast. Now I am going to get the KO finally. So that's good. And the good thing about Double V, of course, is that it doesn't die in one shot easily. And especially against this Dragon Ball VMAX, you know, which does a little bit of damage, decent damage on the active, but then it spreads on the bench. You know, even with the 50 spread, putting everything on the double, it still can't get like the 2 KO. So it's good. Uh, he has energies on the other dude, so he can attack and probably finish off this active double V. But I just need to see energies, and with all the prizes that this guy's getting... Uh, double V should be able to get one hit KOs and everything now. Like, he didn't play the VMAX yet. And, I mean, if I see a few powerful colorless energies, we can even go ahead and one, one hit KO of VMAX. So, we'll see what's up. Uh, Jet Assault, looks like, yeah, he didn't evolve. So, this is pretty much game over. I'm going to kill this guy. And then he's not going to have any energies. He's not going to have anything. So, not going to mess around. We're just going to play the Cramorant V, evolve into the Porygon 2. I have one energy in hand with the Recycled Energy. And we're just going to go ahead and dump everything and go for Magnolia. I just need to see two energies and I win, basically. So, go ahead and do this. Kind of risky, discarding a lot of cards. But uh, yeah, we just see exactly what we need, two energies, and that's all I need. Just get the KO, and now he won't have anything in play. So that's it. It's pretty much GG uh, at this point. It's not finished yet, but I mean, obviously, it, it's a wrap. Like, he doesn't have any energy acceleration. He doesn't have any real attacker, uh, and he surrendered anyway. So I, I knew it was coming. I knew he was going to scoop. Uh, so GG, really, really quick match, but hopefully it goes like this for you using this deck uh, when Porygon Z works nicely. So GG, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more matches. What's say?